What are you doing with the little time you have left? Time's ticking, my friends. It's ticking. You can hear that Steve Miller song in the background, can't you? Ticking. What are you doing? So I'm driving back to Georgia from uh, Virginia after seeing my mom. And I saw one of my friends I hadn't seen in 23 years. The last time I saw him in person, Maddie, my oldest daughter, who is now 23 and a half, working in San Diego all by herself, was in diapers, was three months in diapers. Char and I went to my uh, this guy's wedding and uh, and one of a couple of Charles' sisters watched Maddie while we went to the wedding. That's the last time I saw this guy, 23 years ago. Well, this guy, the wedding we went to was his brother, my, another friend of mine, but he wasn't around this time I was up in Virginia, but the other brother, my old roommate was around, but that's the last time we saw him, I saw him in person. And he made a point, he said, dude, it's almost been over half my life since I seen you last. Because he, he's 40, what do you say, 48, 49 years old, something like that. And we haven't seen each other in 23 years. Almost been half his life since we last saw each other. It was fun, just we stepped right into it like we didn't lose a beat. It was fantastic. Just had a great time. You know, he and his wife were crushing. Just wonderful, wonderful people. Love him to death. But it just, I mean, it made me think too, like, you know, I was up to, and I went to Maryland to see my old stomping grounds. It was fun to reminisce. It's fun to think about, you know, what, you know, just think about the old days. It's fun. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I very much enjoy that. And, um, you know, you think about, it's always, it's fun to think about, you know, the things you did, the things you wish you would have done, all this and all that. But there's no getting around that. It's, it's all in the past now. And the past is getting further and further in the past every single day. The, and, the, and you can't, and, well, you can do whatever you want, but... And you also, while you want to live in the present too, you don't want to sacrifice your future for the present. You don't want to say, you know, I'll get to that later. Right now, I got to take care of this. Do you really have to take care of this? And I don't know what it is. I mean, if you got rent, you got to pay bill. I get all that, but do you really have to take care of this? Because what is that exactly? Is it watching football, sports betting? Is it pornography? Is it streaming? some other stupid thing on Netflix. Oh, look, I like to, I like to watch that. I mean, you got to have some kind of comforts, I grant you. But are you, is your time consumed with these entertainment things that's taking you away from what you should, you know, drinking alcohol, that's taking away what you should be doing. Remember, Stephen Pressfield, you know, he had written a book, the guy who wrote uh, The Legend of Bagger Vance, he had written a book called uh, The War of Art, or The Art of War. I think it's The War of Art. Basically saying, by you not bringing to the world your creativity, you're robbing the world of what you got in your brain. You're robbing the world of what your muse has uh, given you. And I say what God has given you, for sure. And if you're not doing that because you're addicted to pornography, you're addicted to alcohol, you're you know too heavy on freaking sports betting, on football, fantasy football, all that, um, that that's, that's not good. you got to get over that got to get over that so you can accomplish what you're put on this world to accomplish. I don't know what it is. I mean, I look at me right now. I've had a lot of accomplishments, man. You know, I was in a band in, in college, which is pretty cool. We played a show. We put a demo out. That, that's enough of my musical. That's all I always wanted to do that. Just play a show. I mean, if it's fun, it would be nice to play a couple more shows. But, you know, the situation happens. I'm very happy with what I did, what I accomplished. I, uh, you know, I, I wrote, a, I wrote, I've written books. I even wrote a fiction book. Very happy with my accomplishments. You know, I made it through the army. Very happy with my accomplishments. So I'm, I've got a lot of accomplishments. I'm very happy about, but I still got more to do. And you know, Frank, I don't. I, I guess still got more books to write. You see what I'm saying? Because I know that I have the muse. The Lord has given me something in this noggin of mine to share with you guys. That's uh, important. And I just got to stop whatever it is that's taking me away from that. That's the thing. You don't want to live so much in the moment that you're sacrificing your future. Look, I still got to pay bills, and I still got, I mean, I, I got stuff to do, don't get me wrong. I still got to, you know, go drop my kid off at, I mean, all that stuff. But what I'm saying is you still got to make sure you're not wasting your time away to doing stuff that's not productive. And again, it's okay to veg. But man, 23 years ago, and I'm just sitting there looking at the picture. I showed her a picture of my, uh, my mom when she was... Uh, uh, 20, she was born in 40, 22 years old, you know what I'm saying? And she was just freaking drop dead gorgeous. I showed a picture of her in 1968, a couple of years before I was born. And now that same woman is, you know, basically not long for this world. And she's an assisted living facility at Virginia Mennonite Retirement Community, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, and that 
that's just over the course of my life. That picture was taken in 1968, two years before I was born, and I just got done, you know, feeding her at the VMRC uh, retirement community. And I mean, it's just, and that's just over the course of my life, you know, 53 years, or 55, in fact, are the two that uh, before I was born. But still, that's not, you just, you don't have that much time left. You just don't. And you gotta get on it. And again, I don't know what that means. I don't know what you're supposed to do. I don't know. Are you supposed to write the next Beethoven symphony, whatever it's called, symphony, symphony? Are you supposed to learn how to do a greenhouse? I, I, I mean, all this stuff, man, I don't know. But you're not gonna do it if you're not paying attention. Or, or A, if you're living in the past, because it's easy to fall like, oh man, in the past and like kind of remember and kind of kick yourself and you know, just kind of think, oh, it was fun. Like, thank the good Lord I wasn't a high school football star. I can't imagine what those guys got to deal with. I remember when everyone loved me. And you're like, ugh. I can't. I, I think that sucked, dude. Imagine being like a high school football star or whatever. Like, everyone's kissing your ass. And, and now you just got, once you're done high school, no one cares. Ugh. And you're sitting there. Remember when I was a cast me out in high school? Oh, that's got to suck. That wasn't me. Based around you. Far, far from it. But I, I think that's horrible for someone to just be kind of stuck in the past. That would suck, dude. It's okay to have memories and okay to have, you know, kind of say, oh, man, remember that? That's fun. But it's not okay to just be stuck in that. Like, oh, man, I wish, I wish. Like, uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, Uncle Rico from uh, Napoleon Dynamite. You know what I'm saying? I wish he would have put me in. I wish he would have put me in. I would have won the state championship. Um, you don't want to be like Uncle Rico. Part two is you don't want to be so caught up in the minutia of today that you forget about what you got to be doing for your long term because your long term is getting less and less long term. The future ahead of you is becoming less days ahead of you. Every day you live is one less day you're going to live. It's just a fact. I don't think anyone would debate that. So we, we got to gotta figure it out, man. And, you know, obviously say prayer is the number one thing to do is say, hey, what can I do to do the things I want to do so I feel like I've done a good job and I've accomplished things? Again, I've accomplished a lot for my... But I have yet, I've got more to do. And I just can't get lost in all the crap that's distracting you. The distraction on the damn phone, man. You can't get lost in it. You gotta, it takes weights. It takes so much important time. What a wonderful Satanist thing, man, these phones have done. Stream videos, stream pornography, stream, uh, you know, betting, your betting apps. You know what I'm saying? You can do all that stuff. You can't drink alcohol on your phone, but you can certainly go get a uh, beer easily. Hell, at this stage, you probably even order Uber delivered. That's crazy. Just on your phone. What a wonderful distraction it gets you from doing what you're supposed to be doing. Anyway, I hope this helps. Love to hear your thoughts on that. Just get out there, get cracking. It is getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Your days are numbered. All right, God bless. We'll see you.